What is payload and API? Have you ever wondered what happens when you send data through an API? Let's break it down. When you make an API request, you're essentially sending a message to a server. And this message has two main parts, the header and the payload. The header is like the address label on an envelope. It tells the server where the data is coming from and where it's going. But the real meat of the message is the payload. This is the actual data you want to send or receive. Think of the payload as the body of your HTTP request or response. It's the part that contains the information you need to perform a specific operation, like creating a new user account or placing an order. For example, if you're registering a new user, the payload might include details like the username, email, password, and other profile information. This data is usually formatted in a structured way, such as JSON or XML, which makes it easy for the server to understand and process. Here's an example of what a JSON payload for user registration might look like. Username, John Doe. Email, John Doe at example.com. Password, secure password 13. Profile, first name John, last name Doe. Age 30. Preferences, newsletter true, notifications false. This payload is sent in the body of the HTTP request, and it tells the server exactly what information is needed to create the new user account. The format of the payload can vary, but JSON is a popular choice because it's lightweight and easy to read. The content type header in the HTTP request specifies the format of the payload, so the server knows how to handle it. In summary, the payload is the core data that you're sending or receiving through an API, and it's what makes the communication between your application and the server meaningful and useful.